Hey guys, it's Young Wealth. Now today we're going to make an extraordinary video because it's really going to make you be able to calculate what percentile you're in when it comes to your XLM holdings right now. The first thing we're going to do, we have the chart over here. Don't worry, we're going to get to the, the documents. Okay, we're going to get to the documents. But before we do that, let's take a look at the graph and actually take a look at what XLP, uh, XLM is doing in the past month. Now, as you can see, it's only up 1%. So pretty much nothing to talk about. It's consolidating. And at the end of the day, it's only at a 2.6 billion market cap. Bear that in mind, I do feel like this coin can hit like a 30 billion market cap in the future. Now, let's get to the juicy stuff right now. To calculate and guesstimate the actual top 10% of holders, it's like you have to really do the math between how many holders there is and what's the top 100 right so that's why i went and done by the end of the day before we get into that i feel like it's important to take a look at the ledger performance and stuff like that and the use of the ledger now as you can see like at the peaks the use of the ledger was around 700 million right now it's dropped down very significantly because we know that was in 2022 where the boring was still occurring now it's actually dropped down to around 200 million right now at the end of the day I want to get to the actual amount of holders there is now. Now, I, as you can see over here, Stellar accounts, there are now over 7.5 million Stellar accounts and each of them use Lumens to meet minimum balance requirements, right? So if you have a Ledger or Stellar account, that means you hold at least a minimum balance of one XLM. Now we know that. Let's get into the rich list right now. The rich list, as you can see when you scroll up, right, the top one holder actually holds 41 percent i'm pretty sure that's xlm stellar holding that which is 134 million now that might be wrong i think that might be an actual holder because i'm sure xlm holds billions of tokens if i'm not mistaken so at the end of the day you can see number two he holds nine billion so at the end of the day like nine million a lot of people are holding millions of tokens and they're going to be so rich i'm kind of jealous now what i actually did right was put on the graph i, I just took notes of the top 100 holder, the top 100 holder, and the top 150 holder, so we could do some type of math. Now, as you can see, the top 100 holder actually has 191,000 XLM, and the top 150 holder holds 78,000, right? Now, when it comes to XLM, to get on that rich list in 2024, as, I, as you can see over here, I put the top 100 holders, XLM holders, 191,000, top 150, 78,000. So, when you do the math and you, you see how much 78,000 cost, 78,000 it's only seven thousand dollars so the dude that's in the top 150 he only owns seven thousand xlm i mean seven thousand dollars worth of xlm which is not that much to be in the top 150 that's like he's in the top five percent just of holding seven thousand dollars worth right so with that conclusion and with that in place it would definitely if you own over fifteen thousand xlm it definitely puts you in the top 10% because as crazy as it seems, there's 7 million holders, but to be in the top 10%, it's going to cost you, let's go on a converter, right? It will cost you $1,361. That's all, guys. That's all. So, like, just understand, like, when this tech starts to be used, when this tech starts to get utilized and it reaches its full potential, just understand you could have been in the top 10% for less than $2,000, you have to look at this as like a currency. Don't look at it as just a crypto coin. Look at it like this is a currency that is going to be accepted by the global financial infrastructure to be utilized for peer-to-peer -peer payments or personal transactions and personal cross-border payments and financial inclusion, right? So understand that it's very important you, you, you look at your... Uh, options right now you look at your opportunities in your crypto portfolio and you understand that a lot of these coins are super early when it comes to xlm it's a coin that can reach 100 billion in market cap and if you just get the, the calculator out right now if it goes to 100 billion in market cap roughly 100 billion 100 billion in market cap, right divided by the market cap today which is 2.6 billion right so 2.6 billion right that's a 38x so if you hold a thousand five hundred worth like it costs five a thousand one thousand three hundred and sixty one dollars worth which will equate to being in the top ten percent times that by one thousand three hundred and sixty one dollars and you will see how much you actually own once it gets to 100 billion 
fifty-two thousand. So you've done, you've turned a thousand, and this is only a thousand, guys. Don't look at it like it's only fifty-two thousand dollars profit, but you only played in a thousand three hundred dollars. So being in the top fifteen percent, you're pretty much guaranteed one day to make fifty-two thousand dollars back. And that's just the that's just the minimum. You guys can go ahead and buy more XRP XLM if you wanted to, which will put you higher in the ranks. And I feel like that's a smart idea. So I just have to make this quick video to break down the rich list, right? I'm not, I'm not gonna make it too long. I got straight to the point. Don't want to keep you guys too long. So with that being said, if you guys enjoyed the video and you've found out info that if you want to be in the top ten percent, you only need fifteen thousand XLM, smash the like button, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment, and subscribe. With that being said, Young Wealth is signing out with another one. Bye now.